Guys, if you're going to be publishing your first research paper anytime soon, this video is going to be very important. Because in this video, I'm going to be covering how to find a topic to research, how do you go ahead and find co-authors to basically work with so that they can research with you, they can collaborate with you. What's the difference between a review paper versus an original research paper, which is typically just called research paper. How do you actually go ahead and perform the research? What's the process of it? And how do you go ahead and publish a research paper as quickly as possible in as reputable a journal as possible? Finally, we're going to discuss briefly about the difference between conference versus journal papers. By the way, guys, did you know it can take on an average from one to six months to publish a research paper? Those who know the techniques to get it quickly published can do it in one, one and a half months as well. Other people can take up to six months as well. And worst to worst case scenario, I've seen people take a year as well. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to do it quickly. A little bit about me. I have recently published four research papers in reputable journals. We actually did a couple more, but Google Scholar found these four by default. But on top of that, what I'm really proud of is that I've helped hundreds of students publish 600 plus papers till date, all in reputable journals like IEEE and Springer based journals essentially and this is what i'm hoping for in this video as well that i'll be able to teach you the process again if you need any help with the processing even after watching this video my number is in the description you can whatsapp me on it and i'll be very happy to help apart from that if you like the content of this video we make a lot of videos about studying working researching and doing everything abroad so if you want to travel overseas if you want to do some of these things make sure to subscribe to the channel and follow me on instagram where you can connect with me directly we have a lot more content just like this one over there as well now guys, beginning with the video, the first thing we're going to talk about is how do you actually go ahead and find a topic to research on? See, basically, it's not very difficult. All you have to think about is what are the problems in your field of study? Now, as a student or let's say as a bachelor student, high school student, master student, sometimes it may feel difficult as to, hey, I haven't really studied this field as deeply that I can go ahead and find the problems in the field itself. Aren't there researchers doing this out there? Exactly. That's that's a typical answer. That's a typical thought process. I also had that. But trust me, there are immense topics of research and that research community needs always more and more and more people. So you don't need to worry about it. A few examples that I may be able to give you over here would be how algorithm A performs against algorithm B in case the data is skewed, you know? So you understand how certain things perform while the background or circumstances like this. That can be a research topic. You can think about it and you can produce research on that. Another topic can be detecting suicidal users from their tweets. So you do some NLP processing and you basically detect which user is suicidal and you can even try to check the accuracy of it at the end. Then another topic, let's say in biotechnology could be effects of the excessive intakes of alcohol on the human microbiome. So, you know, things like that. How one thing affects the other, how different algorithms perform. These are the general topics. Now, even after listening to these examples, if you are not able to find it, don't worry about it. I have another methodology for you. Go ahead on google.com, search for the research papers in your field. Let's say you're doing a computer science search for machine learning research papers or computer science research papers or cloud computing, whatever, depending on your field, right? Search for them. Take a look at what others are doing. And then after that, what you have to do is you have to think of which which topics you essentially like and which ones you can possibly enhance all right i'm gonna be going deeper don't worry but first let's talk about how do you find co-authors people to club up and research with now i understand not every single one of you may have friends who are very deeply interested in doing that right some people find it boring some people have no interest in it in that case you can go on to whyimgrad.com you can go on to the discussions forum and you can post over here that, hey, I'm interested in doing some research in so-and-so field, is anyone interested? And people can directly, you know, for instance, maybe this person posted something, I wanna chat with them. Or you can search for post here, right? Research, for instance, and I'll just select search. And right over here, let's say this person here says that, you know, like this was three weeks ago, but this person says, hey, I wanna do research papers in psychology. If you are looking like, you know, if you are also looking for a co-author, then connect with me. So you can just go ahead and message them right over here and you can start chatting with them. It's a very easy and convenient way. The whole community is based around people who are interested in getting more jobs, getting more research work on their profile or going overseas to study. So people are always interested here. Otherwise, let's say that this way does not work for you. It's too slow. Go ahead and search for YMGrad research groups on Google and you'll find this page, create or join a research group. You go ahead on this page 
and you can then see which people are already working on research papers in which fields or you can even create your own group you can find people very easily over here maybe you want to message this person you can message this person over here hey i'm interested in the same field would you like to research with me so we have a whole page dedicated to it as well now this one comes under our service so parts of it are paid as well so keep that in mind however the discussions forum is completely free now before I tell you how to actually perform the research, I want to discuss briefly on what review papers are and what research papers are. Remember, review papers only summarize the current knowledge on a topic. So you know, let's say, let's say that effect of alcohol on the human microbiome research. Review papers would basically go ahead and read 5, 6, 10 papers that are the state of the art right now that have done the most progress in the field. In this on this topic and then they would summarize everything that's a review paper you don't really need to do a lot of work over there you just go ahead read a couple of papers take content from each of these and then build up a review paper research papers would actually be however wherein you would be performing an experiment you'd be may possibly taking a survey from people or you'd be actually working with some people you'd be seeing the effect of alcohol on their body you'd be measuring from time to time you would have some measurements with you you'll be creating graphs you'll be creating charts you'll be showing what you have proved that's heavy workload and that's a research paper essentially remember research papers will always hold a higher value than review papers review papers are just a summary essentially now how do you actually go ahead and perform this research let's talk about that like i said first you have to go ahead and select a research problem to work with the next thing that i would always advise you to do is go ahead read the latest papers in that field in on that topic and understand what other authors have already done next what you want to do is you want to experiment and find out better solutions now remember this may not be as difficult as it seems you could potentially read two papers and you could be like okay this author used approach a this author used approach b what if i combine these approaches and maybe then well the result will be better right it could be as simple as that that could be generally a very good research paper in a lot of cases finally what you have to do is you have to compare your solution with the other solutions out there so okay my solution against author a and author b is better because of so and so reason or it did not perform as expected because of so and so reason i'm still publishing it so that everyone knows and they don't make the same mistake as me because of so and so reason i you know messed up right over here but generally of course if you have a better solution that's well worth it people will cite your paper they'll use your solution and the final step is to publish the paper now how do you publish the paper that's what i'm getting at next now i'm going to be talking to you about the quickest way we have found that works very well and publishes your papers in journals if you are careful while doing it all right we're going to go on to easychair.org cfp all right and then right over here, you're going to see the list of the proceedings. Now you can sort them by area of research, by country, by topics. But after listing them, what you want to do is you want to sort this by submission deadline. See the earliest deadlines that there are. All right. These are the ones that are still accepting submissions. All right. So right now, today is, for instance, June 6th. So I will only submit to papers from here on out. All right. I will also go ahead, take a look at these proceedings. I want to make sure that these proceedings publish in reputable journals. So I will always search for journal. All right. And if they are publishing in reputable journals only, then I will proceed. All right. If I don't see a reputable journal, then I will not proceed. I can even go onto their website and I can check more as to where they are publishing. I would recommend stick to IEEE, Springer, only in most cases, Scoopus Index journals for the very least. All right. Remember that for some of these proceedings, you may have to present the paper in a conference before it is published. That's completely fine as long as it gets published in the journal. All right. As long as that is happening. So you can always communicate with the people who are you know holding the conference holding the proceeding and then you can make sure that your paper is being published only then proceed with it i know we're not sponsored either i'm just showing you this because of my personal experience final thing guys conference versus journal papers which one to go for which one is better again i think it's pretty easy to understand right over here that journal papers are peer reviewed whereas conference papers are generally just meant to be presented in a conference however journal papers will always hold a higher value many conferences though will not only publish the paper many conferences though after the proceeding 
publish the paper in a journal. That's why I recommend it Easy Chair as well because most of the proceedings over here do the exact same thing. Yes, you will have to present it in some cases, but they will always publish it in the journal. Again, as for my recommendation, aim for high impact factor journals with a scoopus index. And you generally won't go wrong with that. These research papers can help you in a couple of things. These couple of things would be admissions, scholarships, jobs, and even permanent residence. For instance, even the US has visas like the O-1 visa where they're looking for people who have done specialized research. And if you face any issues regarding your research and your endeavors, feel free to WhatsApp me, my number is in the description. I hope that this video helps. Again, follow us for more information like this, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye and take care.